Okay guys, uh, this is our quarter three lesson, which is matter. By the way, let us discuss what matter is. Okay. When we say matter, it is anything that occupies space and has mass. So simply, if an object has mass and it occupies space, it is considered as matter. The question here is, it is easy for a student to give examples of matter but it is hard for them to give examples of non-matter. So what are those considered as non-matter? Okay. At the end of this lesson, I'm going to give you different examples of non-matter. But first, let us discuss, discuss what matter is. Okay. Okay. Let us look at the physical state of matter. So when we say physical state, it has something to do with its physical appearance, okay? It has nothing to do with uh, chemical appearance of matter, okay? So what is the physical state of matter? Okay, so we have here a table, okay, indicating solid, liquid, and also gas. So these are the three basic phases of matter. Now, let us look at their uh, spacing of molecules. When we look at the spaces of molecules of a solid, if you're going to look at this picture, the particles or the molecules are very close to each other. While liquid, if you're going to look at this one, they are close but not as close as solid. And last here is the particles of or the molecules of gas. Okay. The uh, molecules of gas, uh, there are, they are apart, far apart from each other. So you will notice from very close or compact, from liquid, with uh, smaller spaces then from gas with spaces far from each other. Okay. Now let us look at their compressibility or their ability to be compressed. In solid, we can define it from low to none. Okay. When we say low to none, a solid can be compressed but in a very minimal compression okay or sometimes it cannot be compressed okay an example that it can be compressed is clay clay solid it can be compressed but in a low compressibility or sometimes none because of solid like metal we're going to compress we cannot do it another is the compressibility of liquid now, the same way the compressibility of solid, it is from low to none. Sir, why is it? It is low to none. We can compress water. Uh, you, you, uh, you look at your pump. Okay? You can compress water. But since their molecules are moving, so it will spill. Okay, next, uh, gas. Gas has a high ability of uh, to be to be being compressed. In what way, sir? Imagine uh, uh, the best example of the gas that can be compressed are oxygens from oxygen tank of the hospital. Okay. okay let us go now to the volume. Okay. The volume of solid is fixed. If you're going to look at this picture, since they have the very close molecules from each other, so their volume is fixed. The liquid has also a fixed volume, just like solid. But gas is variable. When we say variable, uh, it is not fixed. Okay. 
the volume of gas may vary. It can be changed based on the situation. So, sir, why is it that it is that gas varies its volume? Simply because of its particles. Okay? Its particles are very far from each other. That is the reason why its volume is vari uh, under variable or it varies depending on the situation. Okay, let us go now to the shape. The shape of a liquid is fixed. You're going to look at it. All solids that you can look around is fixed. Okay, they have the a certain shape or uh, they, they have they have, have a certain shape. shape. Okay. Next, Next is liquid. The liquid is also under variable. It means it varies. So the shape of the liquid depends on its container. When you're going to put liquid in a uh, ordinary glass, the liquid will take the shape of its container. If you're going to put liquid in a circle type glass, the liquid will get the shape of its circle type glass container. Last is gas. The gas is also under variable or it means it varies. In what way, sir? The same reason with a liquid because of its particles, they occupy the shape of their container. For example, balloon. Okay? So the shape depends on the container of the balloon. Next is their density. The solid has high density. Okay. Density is the ratio of mass and volume. Okay. So depending on the mass and volume is its density. Okay. The solid has a high density simply because of its composition. Okay. The spacing of the molecules, its compressibility. Okay. Next is the liquid. The liquid has a medium density. Okay, later on, on our next topic, density will be discussed. The same with gas. Gas has a very low density. Thus, it is their molecular attraction. This is the reason why solid looks like this, liquid looks like this, and gas looks looks like this. Okay. The molecular attraction of solid is very high because they have a strong attractive force. That is the reason why the particles of solid are very close to each other. Okay. The liquid has a medium molecular attraction. Okay. So, they have an attraction but not as high as the attraction of solid. So it means there are spaces. That's why the presentation of a liquid is like this. With spaces. Thus is gas. The, mole the molecular attraction of gas is very low. Okay. okay. That's why you cannot... Uh, C, or it is not visible on our naked eyes simply because the particles are very far from each other. Okay, now guys, just like what I have told you a while ago, it is very easy for a student to give example of uh, matter. So anything that occupies space and has mass, that is matter. But if you are asked by your teacher, sir, or ma'am, will you kindly give an example of non-matter? So you're, go, you're, you're starting to think. Okay? So the reason behind this one is you go back to the definition of matter. <coughs> Excuse me. The definition of matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. You think of something 
that has mass and um uh, volume or it occupies space considered as matter but one if one of the two were missing for example it has no mass or example it has no volume or space occupied it is considered as non matter let me give you an example for example is light okay light light is an example of non matter simply because light has volume because you can see light so it occupies space but you cannot measure light on its volume uh, on its mass light has no mass so we can consider something that is non matter if one of the condition of matter is missing for example light light has no mass and also it occupies space so one is missing so we can consider light as non matter so if you're thinking ano pa uh, what is that uh something that can be considered as non matter it is anything you considered as energy so we discussed this energy from the previous topic of our first grading period for example is sound energy okay we know that sound occupies a space because we can hear a sound but we cannot measure sound it has no mass so guys thank you for watching uh this is your uh sir elvin watch my youtube channel for you to learn more about science